if your favorite athletic team, me being Notre Dame, the Chicago Bears, the Chicago Cubs. Notre Dame, our mother. The Chicago Bulls said to me, like the Jazz did today, the Utah Jazz today told their fan base, yes, we are on local TV, um, but we're going to have a stream and you can pay $5 per game, fifteen fifty a month, or $125.50 a year to watch every one of our games. And if you do that by October 24th, they're going to give you two tickets to a home game, a T-shirt, a hat. Like, I don't know what more the Jazz could have done. I think this is a spectacular deal, and I ask you, if you're Oklahoma State football team, if you're New York Jets, whoever you want to point to, how do you say no to this deal? Mm -hmm. I don't know how you would say no to it. I think it is fantastic. It puts you. It puts the the jazz on everybody's phone, computer, television. Like I mean, it's everything that you as a basketball fan or a sports fan could want. Now, a lot of people are pissed that this is the territory, but this isn't up to the jazz. This is up to the NBA. It's Utah, a little bit of Ohio, and a little bit of Idaho. But that's the jazz. That's the jazz. Hundred fifty mile territory. But again, we've talked about this repeatedly. This is the future of sports. Yeah. It's it's happening already. And we hear about ESPN going direct to consumer. I, I'm excited about it, Jake. I think it, it's exactly what teams should be doing. And I think it's the future. Yeah, and I think that, you know, like if you go on Twitter today and you're looking at this jazz territory streaming package that they rolled out, you're going to see a lot of people complaining like, oh, well, I live in this particular zip code and, you know, it's out of the streaming deal for the Jazz territory, but it's also not eligible for League Pass. There's always going to be those people that have that issue. What I'm telling you is that this streaming opportunity is no different than what the Suns have done. It's no different than what the New York teams are doing or what the Golden Knights have done. The Jazz are essentially covering all their bases. And I love it. I, I don't know how you don't love it as a Jazz fan. I think that the Utah Jazz and Ryan Smith understand that their prior carriage deal, their prior TV deal, was incredibly limiting. And and it was on a it was on AT&T Sportsnet, which is uh, a dead brand now. So they needed to essentially reinvent the wheel. You needed to go back home on, on linear TV for the folks who have cable. You went back to KUTV locally, Channel 2, I believe that is. And then you, you, you needed to roll something out for the cell phone because that's all this is. Now, sure, you can access it on a you know MacBook, computer, or whatever your chosen device is, but Ryan Smith understands something, and I love this about him. There are many things I don't like, but I love this about Ryan Smith. Hey, I want to get to every Jazz fan. I want to get to Jazz fans of all ages, whether you're five years old or you know 80 years old. Yes. I want you to be able to watch your your Jazz team because what do people always forget? Ryan Smith is from Utah. He's a Jazz guy. He grew up as a Jazz fan, understanding what that experience is like to have your childhood be the Utah Jazz. So that's what this is about. So sure, there are there are folks who are in bad situations and maybe can't access it or whatever it might be. Or but don't this, live within 150 miles. Right? Like you know. there's always some sort of bad apple that's going to complain or there's going to be the sect of Jazz Nation that's like, oh, this is too expensive. Even though, uh, you know, if you paid $5 for every single game, it's $410 for the season. Or you could just pay $125 for the season and get two tickets. Like they've clearly priced it properly. Would you like it to be lower? Sure. Would I like gas not to be $5 a gallon in Utah? Sure. But that's not going to happen. The price is the price. And I think that it's perfectly attainable for most people. You're 120, dude, people are, 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 are paying $125 for 15 different subscriptions yeah. already. You're really telling me that you're not going to pay that to access the Jazz? But this is why I ask you if you're, I mean, pick your favorite college football team. Are you are you really telling me that if your favorite college football team said to you, "Hey, for uh, five bucks, we'll give you we'll give you every live game. Hey, uh, for fifteen fifty a month or one hundred and twenty five dollars and fifty cents a year, uh, we will allow you to watch inside, you know, content behind the scenes." Like, you would absolutely do that, yeah. and I think 
ESPN is going to be the next bomb to drop on direct to consumer. And whether you realize it or not, they're already doing that. I mean, with ESPN plus and all of that, this is just the next incarnation of it. And I think it is, I think it is one of those things where you, you can't fight this because it's coming. It's, it's, you can't fight this because if you don't embrace it, you're not going to be watching sports. Yeah. It is that simple. You're not going to pay a cable bill. You're going to pay an ESPN bill. You are not going to pay a, you know, a serious XM bill. You're going to pay an ESPN bill. And I think it is, I think it's really important that we as sports fans embrace this now. Because I want behind the scenes. I want inside the locker room. I want inside practice. I need all of that. I absolutely do. And I think the NBA, as young and as powerful as the demographics of the NBA fan base is, the NBA has to live here. Has to. Look at the NHL. You want to talk about a brand that needs direct-to-consumer, hey, Toronto Maple Leaf fan, hey, Chicago Blackhawk fan, I'm telling you right now, if the Blackhawks said, pay me $125.50 a year to watch every game on your phone, and oh, by the way, we'll take you behind the scenes, you cannot take my money fast enough. You can't take my money fast enough. 100%. I want it right now. Yep. And the, the shocking part is, is that more professional teams are not doing this. Yeah. And I, I think it's just a matter of time. Where do you guys come down in this? Are you are you all in on this? Are you guys are you guys excited about that? Uh, Jim Choi says it's is that means that YouTube TV is going away? No, I think you you need YouTube TV. YouTube TV is my TV platform. I love it. I don't pay a cable bill or a satellite bill. I'm one of those dudes that cut the cord. I am all in on YouTube TV. But what this means is. And again, as a Chicago sports fan, if the Chicago bit, well, let's not get carried away. Nobody cares about the Bears. Better send those um, refunds. Yeah. Uh, if Notre Dame said, hey, hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. Uh, we're going to take you inside the, the locker room when Marcus Freeman was groveling for, you know, forgiveness from his teams for having a panic attack the last I want two you to plays. To me. Take my money. That's what this means. It's unique one off content. In your market, though. Why are more teams not understanding? More teams, universities, whatever it may be. Why are you not understanding that offering this as a streaming option allows you to sell more? How do you not understand this? How, how do you not understand that that through an app you can track all the analytics and provide that to your ad partners? How do you not understand that? Because certain certain NBA franchises understand it, like the Utah Jazz. Uh, certain, certain NHL franchises understand it. But why is the NFL not doing more of this like the sunday tickets great that's awesome but the behind the scenes thing is what we need i need all access jets when the players in the locker room are all pissed off that robert salas pro zach wilson and they're tired of it but where are we getting that we're getting that on qbs that the the netflix show qbs that's where we're getting it right that the problem is how many people understand that there is an in-season hard knocks not me either. I had no idea. Like, I, I did not watch a minute of the in-season Arizona Cardinal one. I'm not even sure there is one this year. I have no idea. And I subscribe to Max. So I, I don't I don't know, but that's out there already. Yeah. Drive to Survive with F1, fantastic show. You will become an F1 fan instantly the minute you spend five minutes with it. Yeah. That's why I don't understand why... Texas with Sark or USC with Lincoln Riley, Notre Dame with Marcus Freeman. Give it to me now. Take my money, man. Yeah. I, I mean, it is. Think about I it. it. Think about it. Uh, Jeff Woodworth. Uh, Broncos are going to do that next year. They're calling it Broncos. <laughs> exactly. Ty Duke. Well, well, well. Ty Duke. Well, well, well. Look who's back. Good to see you, Ty Duke. Uh, Montes, any info that could provide uh, of TV streaming companies that will stream KJAZ? I think YouTube TV is one of them. Yeah, I believe YouTube TV does carry KJAZ. Uh, but I could not tell you off the top of my head. Yeah. And I think the Jazz don't care if you know off the top of your head. Because if you're in market, if you're in the state of Utah, they want you to subscribe to their stream. That's what it comes down to. Because... 
Again, remember that a lot of these stream deals like the Suns, you can't buy the Suns streaming package in L.A. Territorial rights. So uh, that's something I would watch. Christopher Shannon says, let's ride TV. Exactly right. (laughs) Exactly right. Um, Nicholas, NBA is doing great. Thanks, China. Be proud, Christopher. Communism is awesome. Okay. Uh, Green Street Utes. Go Utes TV should be a thing, dude. Take my money. If you want to give me more Kyle Whittingham talking to young men about football and life, I take my money. Mm-hmm. Take I just I'll go broke on it because I would love to see inside of of Kyle Whittingham's program. I want it. I don't think it will ever happen. I I, I honest to God, I truly do not. Would it surprise anybody if the Big Twelve did a deal like that? It, a, a hard knocks Big Twelve. It would not surprise me. It's a Big at all. Twelve. Green Street says a Utah sports app for all games. How do we not have one? How do we not have one? Yeah. And I think one of the next things that we're going to see is we are going to see all the major sports properties get together on a, on a Sunday ticket type deal where you subscribe to this, this app and you get all your favorite teams in that app right now. Yep. I think we are going to see that. I think we are all going to see that. McKinley Cutler. What's up, McKinley? The cookie king of Utah. As a Jazz fan, this is a discount from last year coming from Fubo. We'll be signing up for the annual plan as soon as I can. Not surprised to hear that. Not surprised to hear it at all. Old Greg, please hit the like button. Let's grow the channel more. Appreciate you both, Monty and Jake. Thank you. Jim Choi, they gave Sunday ticket to YouTube and gave Monday night two games, which is just, I don't like the two-game thing on Monday night. Am I the only one that doesn't like it at all? 